My lips right now are not happy with life. Trying on 10 like transfer proof lipsticks really did them in. I give a lot of credit to the Instagrammers that do this like all the time and do like 15, 20, 25 lipsticks all in a row. That was a lot more time consuming than I thought it was gonna be. But I'm not mad at this lip color though. You know what, it was worth it. Hello everyone, I'm here today to share with you guys a lip swatch video, I guess, kinda, not really. I talked about them really briefly in Tuesday's haul video. I just sort of swatched them on my hands, but I hadn't actually tried them out at that point on my lips. And then I actually wore them throughout the day. Guys, these are seriously transfer proof, smudge proof, kiss proof, like life proof liquid lipsticks. They are 10 bucks US from the drugstore, so what, like, $13 Canadian or something like that. And I haven't seen anyone talk about these on Instagram or YouTube yet and I'm surprised because they're such incredible quality and so I wanted to sit down with you guys today, show you my favorites and kind of walk through all of the products and what they look like on my lips. I also went to the zoo and I wore one of the colors and I showed you guys what it looked like before, during and then after and you can see what they look like then as well, like an all day kind of thing. And yeah, I thought this would be a fun video to film. So if you like it, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And without further ado, let's get into this. So the liquid lipstick that I'm talking about today is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. They launched a line of 12 different liquid lipsticks. They retail for $9.99 on the Ulta website. I don't know what the conversion is to Canadian yet. I don't think Rachel, help a girl out. I can't do the conversion that fast, I'm sorry. I have 10 of the shades here, and so I put them all on my lips so you guys could see what they look like, and I also gave them several like full day wears to see just how they wore and what they look like eating, drinking. So you can see here, this is when I went to the zoo, this is the before, this is as I'm going to the zoo, but I haven't gotten there yet. This is what the product looks like on my lips. Now I'm at the zoo. All right, so we're at the zoo, and you can see my lip stuff still on. Has it moved? Still looking good. I have no other makeup on, by the way. Just the liquid lipstick. But uh, yeah, so far so good, and it is boiling lava hot outside. And this is what the lipstick looked like at the end of the day. You can still see it looks pristine, and it was sweltering hot outside. I was out there with my kids, like we were just playing and running around, and it has not budged. I've just been really, really uh, impressed with the quality of these. So on the website, it says here that this is L'Oreal's first 16 hour matte liquid lipstick. It has intense high pigment shades in a range of like nudes to dark purples, like what I'm wearing, reds, vampy, deep burgundies, lots to choose from. Now I know with matte lipsticks, a lot of people are hesitant because they can be really uncomfortable on the lips, they can be really drying or they can flake off and like patchiness and stuff like that. These not so much, they're very comfortable on the lips and they don't feel really dehydrating. Um, the one downside to it is that it's going to feel a little bit sticky, like tacky on the lips. Not too bad and I don't mind it, it doesn't bother me because I know how well they wear throughout the day. So. I just kind of put up with it. The other downside to this product is that it definitely needs an oil-based remover, otherwise this is not gonna come off your lips at all. So the one that I recommend, where did I put it? It's somewhere in this pile of makeup. Okay, can't find it anywhere, but it's this. This little guy from Urban Decay, it's their um, liquid lipstick remover stick. This thing is awesome if you love to use liquid lipsticks and they're hard to come off. This is a great thing, or you could use like olive oil. Coconut oil is another good one, but I like these because it's very precise. Um, but you definitely need to use something like that, otherwise you're just gonna be like tearing at your lips trying to get this stuff off. So that's another watch out. And like I said, there are 12 different shades. I have 10 of them here. The two that I am missing, um, one is Kitten Paw, which looks like a, like a gray, purple, lavender kind of shade. And then the other one is Petal Potion, which I think is more of like a mauve rosy blush tone. Um, so those are the only ones I'm missing. I have every other one. So right now I'm going to get into the swatches, what they look like on the lips, and show you guys what's up.
So in terms of favorite shades, let's start with the one that is on my lips right now that is deeply disturbed. This color is so beautiful. It is a very vibrant, bold, plummy purple, but it has a little bit of that darker undertone, so it makes it a little bit more vampy and fall-like. I don't know, I, I just, I really am obsessed with this color. It is so pretty and really dramatic, so I love it. In terms of more natural, neutral tones, I really like Nudist. That's the one that I wore to the zoo. I really like how it wears, and it's a very warm tone but not too brown so I, I just I really like it and then the other one I like is Angora which is more of that cool tone mauve pink that you guys know that I love it has a little bit more of a gray undertone to it but it's still really really pretty and very soft and then if I had to pick one more favorite it would probably be Matador this color right here it is such a flattering red shade it is such a statement for an entire look and I like it because it makes your teeth look whiter too which is also a little bonus. Those are probably my favorites and the ones I'm going to be wearing the most often but I like all of them. I think there's a, a wide enough range. I wish there was like a really cool and like a deep gray teal. I think that'd be boss and I would love to wear something like that but I think they kind of covered a lot of bases which is good so I really appreciate that. I think there's lots to choose from here um, and I really like the line. I think it's fantastic and that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to share some makeup that I love. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite shade is, which one you've picked up and all of that fun stuff. I would love to hear from you guys. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And that's everything. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing week so far and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah. By the way, popping in here at the end of the video, it is officially 9.56 at night, the end of the day, and my lipstick, like it has not budged. Like look at this, I just hit myself in the nose. It's been a long day. Eating, drinking, just like like everything. It has lived through everything and it is still looking great. Considering I put 10 of these on my lips today, pretty impressed. So that's all I had to say, goodbye.